So in this video, we're going to be talking about Aquarius Sun in the third house and what this placement means natally. So if you have this placement, you're in the right place. And with that being said, when you have the sun here in the third house of communication and of the mind, and you have it in the sign of Aquarius, which is about the higher mind, and it's about the collective, and it's about logic and sensical reasoning, this shows that one of your traits uh, when you have this placement is the ability to convert others to your way of thinking or to persuade others or to make sense to other people. So a lot of times, uh, you guys have a lot of humanitarian, logical, or philosophical convictions. Or you guys have a lot of futuristic ideas and you're able to convert others to your way of thinking or for to make it so that others can understand. So that's one of the strongest traits of this placement. Um, you guys are able to gain the collective support because your ideas tend to make sense to other people. Um, and that's because from the third house, being an Aquarius, the natural place for Gemini, which is the sign associated with the third house, is in the seventh house, which is about the perspectives of others. So without getting too confused by all of that, essentially you guys have a connection to other people's perspectives when it comes to your communication. It tends to resonate with the way that people see things. Now also your mind will tend to be a constant buzz of thinking and of questions and of logic when you have the sun being in the third house and in the sign of Aquarius. Um, you tend to make sense of everything that you come across. Um, at least that's just how your mental um, dialogue is on an unconscious level. Like you tend to rationalize everything that you experience or you tend to ask yourself a lot of logical questions about why things work or specifically how uh, how things will react or why things are the way that they are in terms of cause and effect. So you have a very philosophical mindset um, with this placement. And that's because, you know, the natural sign that has the third house in Aquarius is Sagittarius, the sign of uh, knowledge, the truth, justice and beliefs, as well as higher learning and also higher te teachings. So people that are wise or that have knowledge and that guide other people. So for the most part, you guys tend to be uh, very inspired individuals um, and you tend to come up with a lot of futuristic ideas, um, but sometimes it's hard for you to follow through on them. Like you get a lot of ideas for different business ventures or different causes that you support or that you care for, but you see m yourself more as like a communicator. Now, also, uh, since the third house is about media, uh, and the sun can show passions or things that we have energy for. Um, this can indicate an interest in media technology, um, media networks, you know, social media. And one thing's for certain is that with this placement, you tend to be somebody that's very active on those things and on those platforms. Um, you may have a very active social life where you're always connected to what's going on whether that's through the media or whether that's through your connections and your network um but for the most part uh you guys are inspirers you guys are people that like to communicate a message and um you guys are very forward thinking and you guys think about the possibilities for the future now other than that i had some other notes as well but um, I think, yeah, I basically summed this placement up. Really show somebody that is able to convey messages very well. Um, and somebody that thinks about the future and tries to make sense of everything in their reality. So they always can come up with an explanation for why things are the way that they are. Um, you guys are passionate about justice and truth uh, and knowing the workings of things. So understanding why things are the way that 
they are. And you guys are capable of having long conversations with people and having long philosophical debates even. But the way that you guys are so influential and the way that you guys are able to convert others to your way of thinking is not by changing the other person's mind, but showing them how you guys already agree with each other. And that's the magic of your communication. And that's that's the logic behind how you do things uh, for the most part when you have displacement. Now, other than that, um, that basically sums up what I wanted to talk about for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it resonated. And if you resonated with this video and you liked it, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content. And with that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching and supporting in any way that you do. And I'll see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.